new videos every day. Hello, I'm Kurt Darling, and today I'm going to be sharing techniques to show you how to do your own hair to get big, sexy curls right in your own bathroom. I'll be sharing the techniques. You'll be seeing my model employing those techniques herself, and you can do the same at home. So the next step in this style is to work with two different size irons. The idea is that if we work across the back and create some movement, it can look a little contrived if you just stick with the same iron. So yes, I am encouraging you to get two irons. Maybe one is approximately one inch and one could be one and a half to two inches in this case. And by alternating the two curls, it's just going to look that much more natural. I will begin with the larger iron. And I would just, Jonna, encourage you, maybe you can just feel that I'm just drawing a section down the center plane of your head. So I'm going more vertically, shall we say. And then with that, I'm going around, I have to show Jonna this one in the mirror, but I actually don't put the ends in. I just go halfway and I turn it because I've found that in this way, with this little handle on the iron, I can slowly wiggle it and eventually I'll get all the ends in. But the problem I find is that if you go all the way out to the ends on layered hair, it starts falling out. And now I get all of the hair in perfectly, again, holding it on the appropriate angle, touching the hair, ensuring that the iron is not too hot. You can see all the ends got in. Voila. So the interesting thing would be to see if Jonna now could actually even draw a line somehow sectioning her hair vertically across the back, because it's sort of blind, and it would blind to you folks at home unless you actually have uh, a mirror to work from. But she can feel that I'm tracing this downward as such. And then the trick is, is to go out just halfway and turn the iron in. And at that point, I'm going to wiggle it and turn, wiggle it and turn, wiggle and turn. Continuing to touch and letting it go. So we're going to let John have a try. Sectioning on a vertical, grabbing a little panel of hair. You can comb it through once a little bit. There you go. This will be curled back so all the hair is curled back toward the center, sort of a ducktail if you like. That's right. And then going about halfway, you can see how Jonna rolls in toward the roots and then slowly wiggles that little handle and slowly the ends are creeping in, Keep, keeping it uh, toward the scalp. And slowly, slowly, those ends stay in. And then you hold it there and you can touch it, Jonna. You can make sure it's not getting too hot. And so we can know how long to, to leave it. I think we really want to feel some heat coming through before you take the iron out. So I'm just holding my fingers right on there. It's not burning me. This is a low temperature iron. I would like to stress, you know, using hot tools at home, please turn the temperature setting down. You can see that it is clearly not burning my fingers. And then when you take that out, take it out very gently and don't pull on the hair immediately. So go ahead and uh, take it out. That's right. Now you can see that beautiful soft curl stays in place. Don't touch it. Don't mess with it. Leave it alone. And if anything, you can add a little bit of hairspray right off the bat. But this was perfectly done. And so, like I do, so do you. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'd like to section vertically, just on this panel behind the ear. And as I was mentioning before, we can either curl in the manner we've just seen, or we can wrap it around the barrel. And in this case, once again, I'm just holding the very end of this section. The difference this time is, is that as you can see, the hair has been wrapped around the iron on a spiral, a spiral going downward. I'm not angling the iron uh, in an unnatural way. This is how the hair would naturally fall. And with that, once it gets hot enough, when you take that out, this would be a great moment to maybe just wrap this up in a slightly confusing fashion, just like a little bit uncontrived. It's not even a pin curl. I just sort of bunched it up and I'm placing it in a little pin like that. 
So we're going to let Johnny get uh, a chance at that. The idea is, is that you don't want all the curls to look perfect. In order to get big, sexy, natural curls, we have two different barreled irons, but now we're also starting to stagger in different techniques of bunching the hair up after it's been in the iron, because while it's warm, it's really going to have a great effect once we take that out. Much more organic, natural, sexy, messy. Men love it. <laughs> So you're two for two, Johnny. You're working perfectly. You've, you're able to do this even on the back of your head, folks. She's good. So I'm going to go ahead. She's sectioning on more of a vertical plane. You can see drawing the uh, tail through there. She's selecting the area that's about to be curled. We're now using with the one inch iron and going back to the original technique of wrapping the hair around the iron like a spiral. So she's curling that back toward the center. You can see her begin to wrap it around and wrap it around, that's right, and just continue wrapping around. So what we're getting is a spiral effect. You can, you can twist that in just a little closer to your root if you like. And look at Jonna's technique. She's touching and saving her own hair right there. That is a fantastic technique that she's already employing without any prompting. So right on to you. And that's just the, the best thing when working with hot tools that you know exactly what's going on and how much heat that you're really applying to your hair. So after just a few moments, that can drop. And then you can take that section of hair, just kind of scrunch it up naturally, just almost like you're making a pin curl, but a little bit of an uncontrived pin curl. I'll give you a little clip. You can just clip that up. You know what? This is just really easy and loose, clipping that into place, lovely. That is what I'm talking about. What this does is deconstruct the rigid nature of an iron. So if you ever saw someone at a wedding and they had all the little perfect barrel curls, well, they clearly didn't do something like this. And so a lot of styling, you know, we look back at the 70s and things and you see the Farrah Fawcett and so forth, it can be a little bit too perfect. And what we want to create is a big, messy, sexy kind of look. So two barreled irons, and now we're starting to scrunch up some of the sections. And once those cool off, we'll let them go and they'll be a much more organic, sexy, rough look. And did I say that men love it? So here's our final look today. Big, sexy curls done right from your own home. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me your comments. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. Give me the thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Subscribe to the channel and visit me at KurtDarling.com.